Set in rural Tamil Nadu in the 90s, my story Thambi Thambi explores the themes of grief and friendship through an unlikely relationship between a young sensitive boy and a woman with a mental illness. I chose to submit my story to the Commonwealth Short Story Prize because it's one of the most prestigious literary prizes for short fiction. The prize has always been supportive of stories that are deeply rooted in place and has been sensitive of new languages of fiction. And talking about the inspiration uh, for my story, it is loosely based on my personal experience growing up in a village in Tamil Nadu. Like the main character in the story, Kamala, I did grow up with someone with an undiagnosed mental illness. And it's essentially based on her that I started writing this story, hoping to explore how people with mental illnesses and disabilities are dehumanized in rural spaces. But the more I wrote, the focus shifted more towards uh, the relationship between the boy and the woman. But the story is also about childhood and how uh, magical their relationship is with the world and how children too have infinite capacities to deal with difficult and complex emotions. Our stories connect us. My story, Aishwarya Rai, is about mothers, many of them. The first mother is too clean, the second mother is too beautiful. In her small Mumbai apartment with two thin walls and a two small balcony, Avni watches laundry turn round in her machine and dreams of a white limousine sweeping her away. She tries out different mothers from the shelter. She hopes one of them will be just right. If Ashwari Rai had a fragrance, I imagine it would be strong and bright. Mud and rain, green chilies and potatoes frying in hot oil, sweat and jasmine flowers, salt. Those are the smells of the city for me. Each time I go home, the city has shifted and so am I. This sort of repeated homecoming, this defamiliarization and refamiliarization allows me to explore new constructions of home, of Mumbai, of India, in all the stories I write. Our stories connect us. It feels wonderful to be recognized by the Commonwealth Short Story Prize 2024. I submitted to the prize because I have long admired the accessibility that it extends to new writers and the diversity of voices that it promotes. My own submission is an odd little one. The story, Mother May I, is set in a world in which parents for hire exist. It follows a woman who is faced with an assignment which threatens to blur the line between reality and fiction. I wrote this story because I have always been drawn to tales that explore the parent-child dynamic. There are regrets in these relationships there is a sense of bewilderment at not understanding each other. And yet, at the same time, there is often love. A love that endures even if the means of expressing it are no longer available. I have been writing short stories for a while now, and over the past three years, I've submitted my work to the Commonwealth Short Story Prize. So you can imagine how thrilled and honoured I am to have made the shortlist this year. The story I submitted is titled The Woman Upstairs. It spans a single afternoon where a schoolgirl finds herself in a precarious situation with a male teacher, which culminates in a terrifying moment for her. Ultimately, the story explores adolescent vulnerability and impulses and how that can be exploited by someone in a position of power. This story of mine may speak to the issue of sexual predatory behaviour in institutions, but my approach to this story was not instructive or parabolic. I wanted the story to be specific rather than generalised and representative. Each character was a person rather than a concept. And so I tried to make sure that my protagonist, though in a structurally disadvantaged position, was always an agent of choice and action. Thank you for watching. Our stories connect us.